When the world is deciphered, traditionally, it's understood according to Euclid's way of seeing, that means by using notions of planes, right angles, surfaces, lengths, and widths. But this Euclidean vision belongs to the Greek world, 300 BC, a simple world organized around a single sea, the Mediterranean. A sea where a man like Ulysses could sail around for ten years without being noticed. Today, this Euclidean geometry is not enough for understanding our world. Its complexity, its chaos, its expansion, its growth, its shrinkage, its proliferating systems, its puzzles, and its butterfly effects. The modern world lives and thinks according to other dimensions and perspectives. Through my sculptures, digital creations, or installations, I'm trying to take this new configuration of reality into account to make visible this complexity, show its shape, the very essence of its form, which is not complicated and inextricable, but a living and dynamic form. For me, complexity isn't a closed, excluding shape, but an opening out. I see fractal as an unfurling, because this geometry, unlike Euclid's, tackles world geography via expansion and proliferation. What I propose are multiplied representations of reality, repeated infinitely at different scales, like a sort of cloning, like the representation of infinity. Infinity is no longer separated from man, it's not an external and limitless immensity, it becomes the same shape, boundless, a continuous replica of reality and man. When you climb the fractal stairway, you move within this complexity, this infinite form, which becomes a new dimension and a new emotional principle. I sometimes think of my works as unfinished, liable to be reworked, sometimes even hybridized, emerging, ephemeral works, like a fleeting appearance, a replicating a recomposing and reinventing world whose reinvention I am trying to apprehend.